Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is uh, a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. Some performance and now here comes the response It appears to be a 4-4-2 formation, Jim. Well, the obvious standout in today's football in this system is that it provides you with extra presence in attack. With many shaky defences about, getting the right partnership in that department can pay rich dividends as long as there's a good early supply. So playing two strikers can, um, can be a real help to this team. I mean, 4-4-2 these days, Peter, gets a lot of criticism, but it's, it's unfair. Any system can work if you've got the right players. So off we go then. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Luka Modric. He's someone, Peter, who reads the game that little bit quicker than everyone else. He's got fantastic technique too. And that allows him to weigh his through balls to near perfection, as well as keep hold of it when he's under pressure. He's a real leader out there, someone who can take control of the game and maintain it. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him. And it's been taken straight back. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Taking him long, and that's going to be a booking. been fouled there well he's playing innocent he has every reason to well I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score and obviously he's not going to allow that Peter is he well, the ref's been lenient here I doubt he'll get too many more chances oh Peter what a lucky lucky boy a telling off as opposed to a sending off Going for goal! Knocks it away. Hoists it forward.
Kramaric. It's Kramaric! Oh, that's a fine save! Kramaric is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Brozovic gets his foot in there. Tries to switch the play. Neither side yet able to find the net. Hit long and direct. In by Pasolic. Up to meet it! Oh, just needed a better contact. Well, he certainly got to the ball well enough, but the rest didn't quite come off him. And it's played forward. Kramaric. Kramaric! He's pulled off a fine save. Kramaric sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Forward it goes. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Drops into a dangerous position. There's a long ball. Loses his balance and loses the ball. And he's certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. There could be trouble here. And for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Keeper sends it forward. He's made sure that that won't get through. Brozovic. Hoists it forward. One straight back, and it's played forward, and he just whacks it away. And that will be the last act of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. And the action is back on the way. Croatia. Playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half. Despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Plays it out to the flank. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Forward it goes. Well, it seems obvious that the plan is to, to try and get their passing game going again, but not with that lack of quality.
Tremoric, and the finish! They've scored! Oh, high-quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. Croatia draw first blood here. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half time, it's worth the treat. Brozovic. Now it's Pasalic. Gets it upfield. to a promising move. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Yeah, and they finally reacted, but they could have been more switched on before he... Great leap! Good delivery, no joy. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Modric. And it's Pasalic. Tries to get it forward quickly. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Yeah, the ride is still a bit bumpy, Peter, so they're chasing... He's gone for it! Good first touch and almost as good a second. Yeah, the shot was enabled, Peter, due to such smart control and technique. And they win it back again. The only goal came in the early moments of the second period, and it's 1-0. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. And it's played forward. Hoists it forward. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Well, that's where he wants it. Tramaric. Tramaric. Tramaric spreads it towards the left. Oh, sweet feet. Modric. That intervention was very necessary. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Pasalic. In by Pasalic. Croatia can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. It is just the question of running down the clock now. Tramaric. Over to the left. Got a sight of goal here. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. So
So that's it, it is all over. Croatia, hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Yeah, it was a, a fairly stern test with very little between two teams.